Hey guys, John here. Um, I want to show you guys a new RC project I've had going. I've done a little bit of work on it so far that I haven't really gotten a whole lot on camera, at least um, to upload for video. If you look up my page, John's RC Productions on Facebook, there's some pictures. Um, if you follow what I do there, then you already know what this video is going to be about. But if this is your first time, um, first of all, welcome to the channel. Also, welcome to my work area. It's a little bit colder outside, so the garage is just too cold to work in, so now I'm working inside. So let's get to business. My new project is this thing. This thing is sweet. It is a Tamiya Clodbuster with a Tamiya Bullhead body on it. Um, as far as I can tell, the Clodbuster, it's an original release from about 1989, 1990-ish. Um, the Bullhead body, likely 1990, um, just kind of from what I've been able to gather on this particular one. I bought this from a good friend of mine. Um, he has a, quite a collection of, put it on that side, it's a little bit better, no uh, broken exhaust stack. Um, my friend has quite the collection of Tamiya's going on. He's the one that also sold me the CC01 that is in several crawling videos. Um, videos. I also did some videos on my steering modifications. Um, you can check that out on my channel. I'll throw some links in the description to that. Uh, but this guy, for the most part, is mostly stock. Um, I'll take the camera here and we'll get some better close-up shots of it, but the uh, the main thing that I've done, and we'll get some better shots of it, but you can see that it's got single shocks, um, oil fill shocks. That was the big mod. Also added the light bar. I don't know how well the light kit is going to show up. I uh, don't know how well it's showing up on camera. I'll turn it like that. The light bar is about as old as the rig itself. It came from a company called Ram, R-A-M. I don't expect them to be in business anymore. I haven't heard of them before this, um, but it's got halogen lights and it's got a flasher circuit, little circuit board that power goes into that controls everything. This truck initially, when I got it, did not have the light bar installed. I did install that. Um, it did have a halogen light kit in the front, in the um, headlights, and it had these lights back here hooked up. Uh, the big problem I had when I hooked up the light bar was that the flasher circuit board with all the halogen lights, it wasn't getting enough voltage and it was just causing, I think, just this one to stay on and it wasn't actually lighting up or blinking or anything. So I ended up taking uh, just a real cheap headlight taillight kit that I got on Amazon. I initially got it for my slash and didn't keep it on there for very long. The headlights fit directly in the headlight buckets. The taillights I put in the front bumper here. That's why they're red. They're clear lenses. Um, that one, they're a little bit small, but I put the uh, I put the taillight in with a ring of hot glue. So it keeps them there pretty good. They're snug. But yeah, that's kind of the kind of the big, the two big mods I've done to it so far. Um, also, I use a Traxxas 4 channel 2.4 gigahertz controller. I'll talk more about why I'm using this controller probably in a later video. Um, I do have a plan that uses all four channels. It will be sweet. And I'll show it to you when I build it. Maybe even as I build it, we'll see. Time has been a little bit tight. Um, now that I have kids and I have busy work, it's it's difficult to get uh, difficult to get time to do anything with RC, let alone get it on camera when I do it. But you know that's life. That's how it goes. So let's take a closer look at this, and I'll show you some of the neat details and some of the stuff I've done to it. All right. So here she is in a little bit closer detail. You can see. Trying to get a good grip on the camera here. You can see the switch here that controls the lights. It 
It's not the prettiest install. I need to go through and make it a little more polished. Let's lift the body off the other way so we have light. I'm having a hard time here, sorry. We'll just set it aside there. Um, so, this is the control, the circuit board for the lights, for the, um, for the light bar in there. This is what powers the light. I know it's taped, it's ugly, but it works. You can see those just, let's see if I can get this to focus. It may not. Uh, those just pushed in. These have the, I'm having a heck of a time focusing here. Um, whatever. That has the hot glue. Um, ESC is an older Novak unit. I was kind of surprised when I saw how old it was and kind of knowing when it was built that it didn't have a mechanical speed controller. Uh, the mechanical speed controller, I don't, I don't know, you know, how much you guys know about them, but basically it's a servo mounted to what's called a potentiometer. It's just a wheel and the servo moves the linkage and controls the speed of the motors by controlling where the basically the, where the pickup is on that wheel so it's kind of cool that it has the newer style this is what a lot of my buddy's stuff has um his dad built them and obviously his dad really liked these which is cool they're good i like them too um tracks is 2.4 gigahertz receiver the servo it's got a single servo which we're not going to be able to see, but maybe if we get lucky, we will see the steering linkages. Um, it's difficult to see them. You can see one there, sort of. That goes into the chassis here. And then another one, which I don't think we'll be able to really see. Lighting is terrible, and I apologize. Um, another one, there it is, goes out this way, and basically the servo pushes or pulls, and it controls the four-wheel steering. It's a setup that really, really doesn't work well. Um, I'm holding the camera so crooked. There we go. I'm bad at this, guys. Um, this is a different camera than I'm used to. Uh, the setup isn't real good in stock form. There's a lot of play in it because um, of the servo savers. I mean, that's no servo action um so the servo savers have a lot of play and it's just the geometry is bad but i mean it works if you're moving or if the tires are off the ground all four tires will steer i mean it'll it'll go the direction you point it but uh both diffs are unlocked uh the motors I can't remember what comes stock on these. I want to say they're 21 turn. They're 540 size brushed motors. The Claude Buster and the Bullhead originally had a switch here that you could actually um, flip to change the way the excuse me change the way the motors were wired. They could be wired in series or parallel. One would give more run time. One would give faster speed. Um, cool feature, but this one obviously hasn't had that feature wired in, but that's okay. I believe the motors are wired up right now for more run time. That sounds right. But, yeah, let me, uh, let me work on getting the body put back on, and then I will show you it kind of in action a little bit, at least up on the stand. I'm indoors right now, and there's not a lot of space. There's a dog there. Um, there's not a lot of space to run it, but I can at least kind of show it, show you guys the basic functions and show the four-wheel drive, four-wheel steering, all that stuff. All right, so I have the bullhead stacked up on some short course tires. That should keep it stable enough. Turn on the controller, turn on the truck. So we have the four-wheel steering. The wheels really don't steer much. But they do steer, all four of them. And four wheel drive.
four wheel stop. It's definitely, it's a blast. Um, it's a total blast to drive. Just especially because it has the historical value, I guess, to the hobby. This was, you know, it was the first big major RC monster truck. And I think without this development coming when it did, I think it definitely, I don't know, we, we would have seen monster trucks for sure. We would have seen RC monster trucks. But I don't think we would have seen them quite as soon, and maybe not in the same way we see them now. It's, it's hard to say. All speculation. You can see here, when it's on its own weight, it really doesn't like turning. But, I have solutions for all this. All the, you know, the steering issues, um, basically all the issues that I've noticed already, I have solutions. Some of them are super simple, just little, you know, tips and tricks that I've kind of learned that I'm going to apply to the, this. Others are going to be some more radical changes, but it's going to be awesome, I promise you that. And I will do my best to keep you guys in the loop so you can see what I'm doing as I do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Either way, that helps me know what kind of content appeals to you guys. Um, if if you're not already subscribed to my page, check it out. If you have not seen my Facebook page yet, go check that out. It's just John's RC Productions. Um, I have an Instagram. I don't use the Instagram too much anymore, but I do have some RC content on there. Um, you can look me up, John Geddes, on Instagram. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and like always, have a nice day.